And that breaking news is in Los Angeles. Golf icon Tiger Woods is in surgery after flipping his car. Take a look at this video. It shows the vehicle there with major damage. And we just learned within the past 20 minutes that Woods' injuries are not life-threatening. And in one hour, a news conference will be held in California to give more information. Now, since the crash, pro golfers have been reacting to the news as the PGA Tour is returning to Florida this week. And the players, just a couple weeks away, our coverage begins tonight with Tarek. Tarek taking a closer look at the crash scene and what we know about Tiger's condition. Well, Tiger Woods' agent says Tiger suffered multiple leg injuries and is currently in surgery. This is an aerial look of the crash site, and you can see the car rolled over. And as you take a look in the camera, actually pulls out away from the scene, you can see just how far off the road Tiger's vehicle went. And this is a sign. It appears as if Tiger's vehicle took out this sign that says, Welcome to the Rolling Hills Estates. And obviously, there's more debris there on the road and on the side of the road. It is unclear right now what caused the accident, but police are investigating. You may remember Woods was arrested on a DUI in 2017. He had two sleep drugs, two painkillers, and the active ingredient for marijuana in his system. Now, back in 2009, he crashed his SUV during an incident at his house in Orlando. The 15-time major champion was in Los Angeles for his annual tournament, the Genesis Invitational. These are some photos from Sunday. Before presenting the trophy to the winner, Max Homa, Woods did an interview with CBS about how he's recovering from his fifth back surgery. Woods says he's feeling fine, but still needs another MRI before he can start swing, swinging a golf club again. Now, he wasn't able to say if he would be healthy enough to return for the Masters in April. Tiger said he wasn't sure how much wiggle room he had left in his back and was leaving that up to his doctors and his surgeons. We'll keep you posted on this story. Kent. All right, thank you, Tark. So reaction to the crash continues to pour into our newsroom tonight. Cole Pepper is standing by with what fellow players and others in the world of sports are saying about this. Cole? Well, the news is devastating for many people in the world of golf, considering Tiger had captured his 15th major title at the Masters less than two years ago. Tiger was also actively involved in helping his son Charlie with his golf game. The two played in the annual Father-Son Tournament in December. The PGA Tour released a statement. It reads... We have been made aware of Tiger Woods' car accident today. We are awaiting further information when he comes out of surgery on behalf of the PGA Tour and our players. Tiger is in our prayers and will have our full support as he recovers. In just the last hour, fellow golfer and current U.S. Open champion Bryson DeChambeau wrote on Twitter, quote, heartbroken and shocked to hear about Tiger Woods' accident today. My thoughts and prayers are with him for a full recovery. Within just the past hour, we spoke live with pro golfer Len Matisse. He lives in Northeast Florida and certainly knows Tiger. He spoke about injuries in a crash like this and how it could impact a golfer's ability to simply play the game. When you have some type of accident like this, it seems so uh, extreme with the rollover and the, the look of that car being so demolished. Um, I just hope that he's able to come back from this. As Tarek mentioned, there was a thought that Tiger might be able to get back in time for the Masters in April. There was no talk that he would return for the players the previous month in March. For now, we wait to see if Tiger can get back out there after this very scary-looking crash. Gosh, Mary? Well, so many people pulling for him right now. What does this mean going forward in Tiger's quest to chase two major records? Well, it certainly puts them in doubt. The two records you're talking about, of course, are the 18 majors won by Jack Nicholas. Tiger needs three more majors to win. At the age of 45, it's harder and harder to win those majors. The Masters, certainly two years ago, was a huge breakthrough for Tiger uh, coming back from uh, a long period of not winning major championships. The other one, he and Sam Snead are tied for the most wins in history on the PGA Tour with 82. So Tiger would just need to win one more event to hold that record. But right now, we don't know when and if he'll be able to get back on the golf course. Yeah, Cole, odds seem steep here because anyone who's had one back surgery, let alone five by the time they're 45 years old, experiencing a rollover wreck like this where he, he may have leg injuries as well, that can't be good. Yeah, one of the things he talked about uh, at the Genesis this past weekend was that he'd actually had lengthened his putter uh, to be uh, to be able to stand up a little bit more as he was trying to you know get the grip back after his back surgery. So he's going to have to make adjustments not only to his swing, but maybe also to his gear if he does get back out there. And again, at the age of 45, anybody who's passed that uh, plateau knows you don't heal quite as well as you did 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago. Kent? All right, thank you, Cole.